We're in Liverpool, UK for the world's strongest nation, Team USA versus Team UK. First event, Sandbag Super Chips. Oh, and straight away, Inez Carrasquillo shows why the US believe that she could be their secret weapon. Look at that from Inez Carrasquillo. But Rob Kearney has already sprinted back, but Bill eating up this course fast. Spring back up! You see under now. Nadia Stowers. The under 80. Kevin Ferris moving really, really quick as well. The Americans working well. Air tags in Felix. Erin is on the way for the USA. And this is a perfect on every single sandbag so far. Erin Murray straight up. Spencer Remick for the US. Felix Fuckham's got a skill right behind her. The secret weapon of the US, technically perfect. Was it over the steeplechase? But Evan Singleton rapid as well. The Highland Oak was fast. The Highland Oak charges back. Let's keep cheering on Rebecca. World's strongest woman. Big, big drive down. She taps in. Tom Stoltman just on the lines lost how fast the US were. They've already finished. The US team absolutely. Evan Singleton, the fastest man of the entire pile. Event two, the farmer's war. is going to be 130 kilo for the men and 90 kilo for the women. The athletes are going to run it 20 meters, turn it around, come back 20 meters. From there being chased down by Gavin Bilton and Nadia Stowers will face Lucy Underdown. And you can see that Underdown is gaining ground remarkably. And move all of the meters, the dragon and the Highland Oak are all ready to go now. And you can see that Stallman wants this badly as Lisey sets off walls. British team are ahead, but Martins List is motoring down this course. Donna Moore looking solid, and Aaron Murray is sprinting out of the blocks. Donna Aaron is eating up this course. Aaron Murray closing her down, staying Aaron brings it into league with one of the best of the farmers to go. On the way. This course, Mark Felix a little bit all over the place, but that grip is still holding out. Evan Singleton, solid and compact. Looks Evan proud. looking confident. And the American team across the line first, Mark Felix. Let's finish. Come on, Mark. There we go. What a race there from both teams, but the Americans taking event number two. Evan Singleton, number one at the top of the pile, 18.1 seconds, and it is Team USA and Martin Zalissis who are leading the way. Event three, the Axel deadlift for reps. Deadlift, I should win that. I'm 100% guaranteed to win that. Big, fast first pull from both girls, no hesitation. The second looks smooth and easy as well as you would expect. So the women really need to push hard, get as many reps as possible. Abby Dixon looking rock strong, and there's a real edge about Dixon. I'm 100% going to smash the deadlift, and I will not give up. We are underway, and Lucy Underdown hits the first one with immoral disrespect. Smashes out another one, Lawson getting into a groove. Uh, I mean, Nadia's a fantastic deadlifter, but Lucy is just on another planet when it comes to deadlifting. This is her favorite event. Pulls fall off because it's a cumulative total that matters, and under down is going to the red line, Loz. 13 individual reps so far, bringing the team total to 21. Can't quite get to 22. Now this is one that I'm slightly a bit more worried about. Rob Kearney, who's very strong, just finished America's Strongest Man, uh, and I'm gonna be throwing him in there for the deadlift because I know he's a strong deadlifter, but he also pushed himself pretty hard in that last competition. So I'm, I'm really, I'm gambling a lot on you, Rob. You better come through. Kearney hits the second half. 
Powerful reps by Gav Bilton. Rob Kearney using that pitch style that he's so effective at. Very efficient lifter, Rob Kearney. Technical and efficient. He uses every ounce of that smaller frame very, very well. He's, he's mastered that movement. But Gav, just more traditional, pulling through the glutes. Locks out his fourth rep. And that is enough to keep the UK in a good lead. Gav wants to do one more for the UK team. You can hear the Eddie Hall turning it on. Two stolen turning it on. Gav in the ball. Bilton tries to hit that last one. Not tonight. On the way we go. Both men hit the first pull hard. And Stolman is right there with the Rex Laws. It's warming up. He knows what he needs to do just to stay ahead and actually that's a smart move from Evan Singleton there He could have killed himself to try and beat Tom, but he wasn't gonna get the team win Tom Stallman doing what he needs to do Lucy under down 13 repetitions Let's hear for Lucy at the moment were we to start the finale the final event Then the UK would have a two-second deficit. They would have to try and catch up Event four, monster dumbbell for reps. In terms of specialized events, this is one that I'm very confident in because every single athlete I have on there is one of the best dumbbell pressers so in the world. Dumbbell press, who, who sponsored on a more setting herself and hits the first one, gets the down signal, as does Carrasquillo and more, and Carrasquillo onto the second laws. You know, using both hands as well. It's not something we see that often. Donna, efficient, focusing on the right arm. Can she lock out? Both girls hitting that third repetition. Carisquillo is up for the Carisquillo of the USA. Miss times that a little. Thompson in blue. Maria Stowers of the US. And a great start from Andrea there, Lord. Both ladies starting very strong. Andrew making easy work of this dumbbell. A lot better from Andrea. A chance on this one if she can get a few reps more. Put some pressure on Team America. Nadia and Andrea take the team totals. Wow. Nine, this is close. Rio oh, Thompson really oh, backing down. Now you can hear the crowd here. I should be doing circus dumbbell with Rob Kearney. Me and him are the strongest dumbbell pressers on Team USA and arguably in the entire world. I believe that we can definitely pull the win on this event. This should be a battle. Two fantastic dumbbell pressers here. Strength from Luke the Highland on Stoltman and we see that efficiency again from Kearney Laws. He's such a professional lifter. He is. Both of them making the press look easy, but Luke is a little more efficient. Although I say that, and Rob is closing back in. As Kearney hits that next repetition, and it's quite a, a visual there. Kearney, not the biggest man, and look at the size of that dumbbell. American record holder. Hilton hits the first repetition. Singleton on to his second, and that is smooth also. It's Milton with the second, T-Rex with the third, and we are tied. Very efficient lift there, Lawrence, from the T-Rex, but Milton equal to it. Evan T-Rex looking really solid. Gav methodical, making sure he gets yes. everything in the right position before he presses. He knows he can't make a mistake. And Evan just stretches into the lead now. Twenty-one, twenty-two reps for Team America. Gav on nineteen for Team UK. And the Americans take the win. Looks across at Gavin Bill. And calls it on. Yeah, definitely. He might have won that one, but he's a bum. Um, we're the people's champs. Here we go. Captain Martin Slissers playing a very wise choker card as he's got not just three, but six points 
for his team. Event five, the Wrecking Ball Hold, 260 kilos. I think the Wrecking Ball Hold is a banker event for UK. I think it's one of the events that I'm fairly certain we're gonna win. There is the whistle. Both ladies up, no problem. Oh. Unfortunately, that means Gabby has to go down to the Hit the ground there. Gabby done. Gabby, unfortunately, it was caught. Lucy Underdown locks in and is right solid. This is important now for Lucy. Needs to retain that focus. Starting to feel it there, but kicking in and digging in. Nice smooth pickup required and both girls learning from that one. So much further to go for Rebecca Roberts, such a tall girl. And you can see Nadia Stowers already feeling it a little there, much smaller lady. Not needing to put their minds somewhere else and dig in. Do it with every fibre of the being. Stowers is down for Team USA. Rebecca still going strong. Yes! Rebecca Roberts toughs it out. Both men synchronised on the pickup, And Kevin Fair is trying to uh, adjust his position a little bit there and locks himself solid now. Gavin Bilton is trying to put himself into a happy place. Kevin Fairs is always the guy that tries to create the upset. He would love to do it here as Gavin Bilton starts to dig in. Kevin Fairs looks across at the ball and tries to apply the psych out. Look at that confident look across from Kevin. He is holding on tight. Gav, given everything as always, such a battler. Over the individual world record on this event, still holding out now. Kevin pushing to a new record, stretching it, fighting for every second to bring the American team back into this event. His back is giving out, the legs are giving out, but the grip holds strong. How much has he got? Wow! Believable effort from Kevin Fares. From a grip perspective, and we are underway. We know how good Mark Felix is when it comes to grip, but the American on the side of him has a fantastic grip as well. We could be in for one hell of a battle here. And it will be a fascinating contest as this thing gets into the late times. Just look at the focus on both faces. Mark Felix. Hard. Evan is going. Can Mark hold out? Oh, it's close. And Mark Evan Felix does it. Team UK. Evan and Mark wants more. Hits the deck. And Felix the Miracle Man brings the Liverpool Arena. Mark's still going. And he's starting to accelerate. Oh. Wow. Look at that, Kevin Ferris, the new king of hold. Team UK gained three more points. Joker card, Team UK, Eddie Hall, double points. Do you think it's a banker? Obviously you do, you saved it for this, the tug of war, Team UK? I think it's a banker, we've got the most body weight and we're the stronger team. So uh, I think this is the bar banker event. For the tug of war, I think everyone is going against everyone. So the, the women are going against the women, the men are going against the men, and then the whole team, including myself, UK has a heavy team. Out of all the team events, this is one that I might be slightly more worried about. We are on the way, ladies and gentlemen, and right away, Team Great Britain pulling hard on the to need to stay with them. The driving home, maintain the power and need to get the timing down. There's the time again, and all of us
Yeah, Team UK have pulled themselves right back into this contest. They're going to be giving up a one and a half second disadvantage. Event seven, the final event of World's Strongest Nation, Duck Walk to Power Stairs. Going into the last event, the last six events determine how much of a head start you get going into the last event. Every point equates to half a second of a head start. So it's going to be very important to get as close to even or ahead of the other team as possible. Because whichever team wins this last event, takes the gold. They win everything. Hopefully, we're going to be quite a bit in the lead, perhaps have a five, six, maybe seven second head start, and we just need to stay there. So last year, we were unsuccessful, unfortunately, in taking the gold home. So to win that this year would be a great redemption and comeback. On the way we go, and there is the second whistle, and it is on. Bilton and Fair start us off, Kevin and Gavin will want to try to make the best possible this is close. And both men up there. Very, very fast from Kevin Fair's dog. Aaron Murray lightning quick to the implement. Moving really well. Up the first step. Just a little mistake on this top one. Gets it though. Donna's got work to do. Needs to make sure she gets every single step right. The American captain now coming with 250 kilos straight up on that first step. Fast on the second. He is maintaining his lead. Luke Stoltman needs to be quick. Come on, Luke. Keep it going. Luke Stoltman trying to keep his head together there as he in is a steal. Little football for everybody there. Will that let Rebecca Roberts back in? Rebecca, so good at this event. But Evan Singleton is already. Evan is on to the last one. All he needs to do is get this up, and Team America are going to take the win. And they do! Team America, the world's strongest nation, 2023. ask for. Nobody does strong men like the UK. Thank you so much for supporting my favorite sport. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much.